Before we can begin to learn how to use AutoCAD LT 2014 for Mac, we need to install the software, if you haven't already. If you have, then you can probably move along to the next section without any issues. If you haven't and you want to have some help setting it up, then this video here is for you. So before you install the program, you might want to take a look at your hardware, make sure it's okay. If you're running a Mac that's pretty recent, then you're probably going to be okay. If you aren't sure, then you can go ahead and install the software and it should be okay. There are many different ways to install the software and it depends on how you've gotten the software. One could be through a DVD. So insert the DVD and it should start up all on its own. If you've received a USB thumb drive from Autodesk, then you could insert that and it should start up again on its own. Or you could do as I've done and I have downloaded the file from Autodesk's website. Just go to that file and double click it to run it. Most of everything that's going to happen here will be very straightforward and you will just have to follow the on-screen instructions. Now it's going to take it a while. It could take anywhere between 10, 15, 20 minutes. Now when you're ready to go, click on the Install Autodesk AutoCAD LT 2014 for Mac and it should start up right away. Just click on Continue. It's warning you that, hey, this is going to install things on your machine. Most of the steps, as it says here, will be self-explanatory and it will guide you through it. Click Continue. Now you have to read this license and service agreement. It's quite long. If you are okay with this and everything that it says, then click on Continue. You can also click here to read the licensing agreement. Make sure that you read it. If you agree, click Agree. If you disagree, click on Disagree. But if you disagree, you will not be able to install the software. So keep that in mind. If you have a product key or a serial number because you've purchased the software, then enter that here and it will be fully installed. If not, if you're just going to use the 30-day trial product, then click here. Once installed, you will have the opportunity to go back and insert your serial number and product key if you purchase the software. Otherwise, you will have 30 days from today or the day of your installation to be able to use the software. This tells you how much space it's going to take. Make sure you have enough room. Click install. Now everything is going to be validated. It's going to be written. It's going to be created and installed. This part will take a while. Once it gets started, it will estimate a completion time and show that on your screen for you. It says about six minutes and it does seem to take about that long. And I'm just going to pause for a while until it's here. Now, once it's finished going through its paces, you'll come to this screen here. It'll say the installation was successful. If not, then restart your computer and try running the file again, and it should start up. If not, then there may be some sort of issue with the download file. So re-download it and see if that helps. Click close, and you can close this installer, and you can eject your installer file off of your desktop area here, and you're ready to get started.